dear colleagues uh, we are meeting here for a very sad uh, occurrence uh, professor amitabh mukherjee professor of computer science and engineering uh, has passed away on 24 january 2024 so he was a brilliant scholar and a researcher uh, his interest were in ai spatial reasoning video analytics robotics cognitive science and virtual reality so basically all the areas which are now in prime focus these days uh, he received his btech from iit kharagpur in 1979 and his ms and phd from university of rochester in 1982 and 1986 respectively after that he joined iit kanpur in 1992 and served as a faculty member in mechanical engineering department from 92 to 2000 and then in computer science engineering department from 2000 to 2018 he published several papers in prestigious journals and conference and was highly uh, lauded for his uh, research work but apart from uh, research he was a gifted poet passionate nature lover avid cyclist reader so he loved to explore new places and cultures and organized many biking trips with his students so he was a very popular figure with students as well and he used to organize these trips with faculty and staff also so all of you know he probably has covered almost all of india from uh, leh ladakh till uh, south southern india uh, using cycle he was a master of bird play and had a wonderful collection of bird photographs so he was a friendly and generous uh, person who used to welcome everyone whether it will be new faculty who is joining or students of his course everybody uh, unfortunately he met with a tragic accident on january 24 2016 when he was cycling with a group of students outside iit campus he was hit by a bus and then fell into coma for several months and since then he remained in semi conscious state so every one of us family friends students waited for him to be his healthy self again but that was not the will of the god so he passed away peacefully on january 24th uh, 3 days back so so this meeting uh, is in his remembrance so i would like to ask uh, director dr ganesh to say a few words those uh, colleagues who have been in the institute uh, for more than joined earlier no professor samita mukherji like uh, you know the you know wonderful individual i mean it is something like um, you know he would start conversation with anyone and that's one of his amazing uh, qualities i remember when i joined here uh, first time i attended one of the uh, institute lectures i saw him uh, you know sort of typing directly on the laptop this is a, this is something that is unique about him because every lecture he would sort of make a summary and he used to type so fast and that's something that was an you know an experience for me and 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 I just just approached him and you know since then you know he would start conversation with anyone and he would he would he would discuss anything i mean his interest is like you know he could discuss on right from you know music to philosophy to science engineering um current affairs a gifted person i mean that's something that uh, still is in memory and it's a it's a great loss although he wasn't on campus for the last 8 uh, years or so still many of us hope that he could he could be back here i mean that is something that many of us felt for is you know the personality and 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 i uh, remember having served with him in some of the committees especially in review of some of these uh, proposals and and it it's a is is breadth of understanding you know is uh, really something that struck me and you know it's a great loss it's a great loss to uh, the institute and to the community at large and i also would like to you know really um you know appreciate and uh, sort of uh, um admire the family support that he received um in the in the, the last 6 years that is something that i mean it is incredible and that's because of his nature any would anyone would uh, you know love him and adore him for his qualities and is really a, a great loss to the institute yeah, i i thank the family and also um, pray that uh, his soul rest in peace thank you So I request Professor Amlendu, uh, Dean of Faculty Affairs, to address.
Yeah, so Amitabha was uh, such a wonderful colleague. Uh, he was uh, a person of diverse interests, as, as you all know, uh, not only in academics, uh, but also in many other things. Uh, we could talk to him in just about uh, anything and everything that we could think of. Uh, he joined the institute uh, one year before I joined. He joined in 1992. Uh, so we had a long association and interactions over past, uh, I mean, after we joined together, uh, many, many years we had interactions. And the first time, in fact, I, as far as I remember, first time I met him uh, in a cultural function uh, where uh, he was uh, reciting uh, English translations of some of the Tigor songs and those translations were actually done by uh, Amitabha himself and uh, and then in many of the other uh, subsequent functions uh, I heard him reciting also many of uh, the poems written by himself and uh, and also many other things okay, he also used to participate in you know, drama and, uh, and you know, many other activities and of course he uh, was also uh, an avid biker and also many other things that we all uh, know of. He uh, is not easy to find uh, a faculty colleague like him with so much of diverse interests. Okay. In fact, we all uh, still remember the day he met the accident uh, eight years ago. And, and in fact, just a few weeks before the accident, uh, I had a long meeting with him at R&D office. Uh, that time he and Binoy, uh, Dr. Binoy Nambhudji, they were working on uh, some project on deep learning and the game and uh, there are some discussions okay, with him and so when I heard the accident, uh, his accident, uh, that's the first thing that came to my mind, oh we just had a meeting with him just you know, uh, uh, a couple of weeks ago. So he'll be missed forever and I just pray to God that uh, he's so very safe. Thank you. Sir. Now I would like to ask anyone who would like to come, Professor Ashish. Yeah, Professor uh, Mukherjee joined mechanical engineering initially in 1992, I think. And then he moved over to computer science in 1999 as associate professor. For me, it's uh, very personal because he was also the head of the Center for Mechatronics, head of Center for Robotics for two or three terms, I think. And when I joined, I reported to him straight. Okay, so the first day I went, they said, you meet Amitabh Mukherjee. And I went to the lab. And there was a gentleman in half pants and basketball sneakers sitting on the floor and trying to remove a motor from a robot. And I wanted, who is Amitabh Mukherjee? And he says, morning, morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. He would say good morning three times at least, even at night. And uh, then I realized that he is something out of the world. He was always out of the world. I don't think he was from this world. And uh, uh, his expertise in mechanical engineering, computer science, AI, cognitive sciences, and the ability to switch from one, one discipline to another discipline. I don't think anyone can match it. I never understood how he did that. Okay. And he was always complaining that his laptop is very slow. My computer is very slow. It's not working. Then I used to find he has opened 10 windows and he's trying to go between the windows and he's complaining the laptop is very slow. And uh, I really don't know what to say. I only hope that uh, compared to the problems he was facing in the last couple of years, okay, he is out of those problems now. And wherever he is, he is back to his old life, enjoying life the way he was here. So I would wish that uh, uh, his uh, soul rests in eternal peace and uh, God gives strength to the family members to bear his loss. And there will not be another Amitabh, Ghosh, uh, Amitabh uh, Mukherjee. There is Amitabh Ghosh also. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I, I don't know what to say. For me, it's a personal loss. For the department, it's a loss. For the institute, it's a loss. For everybody, he was everywhere. Even when you go to TCS, they'll say, oh, Amitabh uh, Mukherjee. Oh, yeah, the one who uh, cycles around. He was known in, a, in All India Cycling Group. Okay, so everybody knew him. And uh, uh, I was also told that somebody went to Ladakh and they found a gentleman in half pants riding the cycle in Ladakh. And that was Amitabh Mukherjee, of course. So... Uh, we wish him that, uh, we wish his soul eternal rest. Thank you. Anyone else who would like to share some? Um, hi, so I have had the pleasure of uh, associating with Amitabh first as a student 
and only later as a faculty member uh in fact i started working with him him with him under him whatever uh as we back in my i would say barely in my second year of undergraduate because he was that enthusiastic that he would let me who has not even who has just done esc 101 into a research group that was doing state of the art research in machine translation and natural language processing uh, so it was a fairly large group comprising professor uh, kurji of course but also professor achla rana professor uh, harish karnik it was a fairly um, group of very very uh, erudite and very very enthusiastic faculty members and uh um, being a part of that group changed the course of my career because when i joined i was influenced by pretty much pop views about what iit life should be so you somehow get through the four years and then you join another institute whose names start with i and i a different third letter and then you're settled for life uh he was one of the ones who was instrumental in changing that who showed me that there are other ways to spend whatever intellect have been given and uh, that can be both enjoyable and fulfilling and the lifestyle he led uh, convinced me that it was not a lifestyle of a pauper he lived life uh, big he would forever have uh we would go on cycling trips uh, i i think everyone who will speak today will mention cycling in some one way or the other uh because that's how much he liked uh cycling um so he was very encouraging of uh he would he had a uh, he had an unlimited supply of not just encouragement but opportunity with him he would not skimp on opportunities to hand out so i'm uh, i will forever be grateful to him for the opportunities he gave me uh i have many uh, uh well on the lighter side uh anecdotes to share as well as people have been sharing uh uh professor just mentioned his uh complaints about his typing speed being uh, or rather his uh, laptop being too slow uh there's a related incident of which i am aware uh, so some of my uh, friends uh, once decided to do an experiment because he would type really fast really 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 fast so some of them used to wonder is he really typing stuff or is he just showing off and he's pressing backspace all the time because he would also sp- press backspace a lot because make a mistake you go back and if you're typing at that rate you would have already typed a lot of letters by the time you realize there's a mistake so in one of the meetings they sp- split themselves into two groups of uh, into two groups one group would discuss with him what they had come to discuss the other group would just look at the ratio of backspace presses to actual key presses and they realized that it was a negligible amount he was was really typing what he wanted to type he had an emacs open all the time uh somebody has in one of the emails has mentioned the the treasure trove of emacs scripts he had with him he had an emacs script for pretty much anything you name it uh someone mentioned generating summaries taking notes he would forever take notes uh if he's attending a talk it could be a academic talk it could be a semi academic talk he would forever be taking notes and the astounding thing was these were not just to be taken and left there he would actually be able to point out where was a certain note because again this is something i i think i did i used would i once decided to quiz him to see whether he remembered taking a note or not he did uh he remembered he if those were not notes he would just take and forget he would actually be able to go through them and remember uh, what all he has taken uh some other anecdotes i also have about his typing speed um and these i have shared with my colleagues in the computer science department over in, over a thread that was started uh, a couple of days ago on the 24th uh, when we uh, sadly got the news of his uh, demise um and that has to do with uh, a rumor that uh, 
the man did not have a 24 cycle like the rest of us uh, average human beings uh, some people said he had a 36 hour cycle most students believed he had a 48 hour cycle and uh, he and i were both going to a conference along with uh, professors rena and karnik some of you may not uh, know professor karnik um, uh, because he has uh, he had retired from the cs department quite some time ago pretty much around the time professor mukherjee met with that fateful accident so there was it was time to decide who would pair up with whom because we didn't have enough rooms so i thought the only option would be that professor karnik and professor mukherjee would pair up them what with both of them being faculty professor rana would be uh, with on her own and i would probably be given a mattress somewhere or whatever but professor karnik seemed hesitant i don't remember i, sh- I shouldn't attribute this to him but in the in the end of the day what happened was i was made roommates with him and i used i was at first i was a bit apprehensive because i was a student back then and not a phd student either i was a btech student maybe third year btech student so i guess the students in this hall can imagine what a you know unnerving feeling would be going from working with a faculty member to being roommates with a faculty member and i was uh, apprehensive excited honored uh, that you know i thought yo oh, well, now we are equals we can probably have a cup of tea or a cup of something else as well but pretty soon i realized why was professor kerning not willing to be roommates with him because it turned out to be that night he would not sleep so i being the uh, kid i was i went and after dinner we came and switched on the television and he immediately made me switch it off i don't know oh, this is all faltu business I'll switch it off okay fine um i mean i uh, i didn't feel bad i felt well okay like i i was doing something bad like watching tv is bad you always tell people uh, kids that you know watching too much tv is bad so that i could live with but then uh, we spoke for a bit and then it was time to go to sleep and i did go to sleep but he didn't and how do i know he didn't because he kept typing away on his keyboard the entire night at probably 4 or 5 or maybe even bit later he probably took a half an hour i'm not sure what to call it a power sleep or a power nap and he was awake fresh not groggy i was the one who was groggy because i was the one having interrupted sleep throughout the night and uh, the kicker is yet to come that he had his presentation the next day so i thought okay oh, maybe who a man didn't have much time was probably preparing his presentation throughout the night he wasn't when we were going to the conference venue uh in the car he was typing away still and he was like oh i forgot to make my presentation what were you doing all night you made, didn't let me sleep and I, i wanted to but uh not to worry he gave a, an excellent presentation as always because he was that erudite it was a cognitive science um uh, conference i think in university of alabad uh the um, I, the same department to which professor narayanan used to uh, uh belong before he joined us so um he didn't he 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 was able to uh, generate uh, excitement among people excitement about not just academics but also other activities which uh, like going around uh, bird watching trekking cycling uh, i'm r- running out of things that i had prepared <laughs> so uh, but although only maybe one uh, one other anecdote maybe i can share which are, again these are things that i've already shared with my colleagues is uh, also the endless source of encouragement that he was uh, he would work with very large groups of students um uh, but uh he would uh never be i've never seen him be too critical or for for that matter not be critical of a person he could be critical of the work but not of the person so he could make that distinction fairly clearly so he could be critical about a methodology that was adopted but he 
would be careful to make that decision. I, I'm not sure how could can I convince you of the fact that he did that, but I distinctly remember him having maybe his mannerism or the words he chose, but I could see that he was not just making the distinction, but he was impressing upon the student that this is a distinction that should be made between the work and the person who did that work. Works can be criticized. Criticizing the person is a different thing. So I remember I was working, it was my first project. And this was when I was, again, a second year old student doing a summer internship with him. Uh, I incidentally happened to be a part of the inaugural surge batch. The surge started in 2005 and I was a part of the first surge batch. 2005 or 2006, I remember the year, but whatever be the inaugural year, I was a part of it. And he was my mentor. And we were doing an implementation project and we had to do a lot of stuff that I was not familiar with. And uh, naturally, it was taking a lot of time. Uh, I used to meet Professor Rana in person week to week and with him I would communicate or more online because he used to split his time between IIT Kanpur and the US because his family was uh, residing in the I think they still do reside in the US his, uh, his sons and all they all reside in the US um, and uh, progress was slow at times as it happens and uh, he sent uh, and I and I felt silent for a while, uh, not being able to pro provide any progress reports. Of course, I would meet Professor Rana every week with a long face, and, and she would be like, "Yeah, I, you you don't talk about all this programming stuff with me. You come to me when you have a linguistics problem." So I didn't have much to uh, discuss with her, but with him, I would have had to discuss because those were implementation issues. And uh, I was getting more and more anxious that I wasn't, I didn't have anything to tell him. And uh, I was about to write an apology email to him at one point, but he beat me to it by writing to me an even longer email than one I had planned, uh, telling me, oh, maybe, yeah, that email. Okay, so maybe that is the email that I have in mind when I say he would distinguish between a work and the person who did that work. So... I felt extremely uh, annoyed that he beat me to that email because I was about to write an email to him that yeah, I have cracked the problem, we are able, we, we will have the system ready in a couple of weeks, everything is good. And the system was ready in a couple of weeks, we ended up publishing, that was my first publication. But instead I got an encouragement email from him telling me not to worry and that I shouldn't think of less of myself because this project is uh, perhaps getting to... Uh, difficult for me. Uh, as I told my colleagues, uh, I didn't need that encouragement that day. I didn't need that email that day. I felt disappointed having received that email that day, but I will forever cherish that email because that email or its recollection rather has helped me in many future occasions when I did need encouragement because I forever rem remembered his words that just because I'm not able to solve a problem does not reflect upon me as much as it reflects upon the relationship between the problem and my abilities. Doesn't have to. Uh, I don't need to conflate the two. Oh, yeah, the word conflate. He taught me what the word conflate means. Um, anyway, so I'll. I think. I think I've already uh, spoken for too long. Uh, I don't know how to uh, wrap things up except say that um, the AI landscape in IIT Kanpur suffered a great loss in 2016 it has suffered a loss today again so we have lost him twice in some sense um, may god help us to bear this loss and move forward that's it so anyone who wants to come forward start I would also like to share, means the beauty of Amitabh was that he was not just uh, good with his colleagues or his uh, people who are of his age. I mean, once he come to my house for some small uh, get together kind of thing and he could spend full one hour with my one year old kid and the kid was also happy being with him. So he could somehow play some games with the kid and 
in many many times he used to tell me that you should do this experiment with your son and we used to say no no that's too much for us uh, i don't know what will end up but uh, he but from uh, very young people to very old people he was uh, equally friendly with every one of them so as you can see some of the photographs uh, we'll try to put on a uh, web page that he used to take students to uh, as well as faculty members uh, on these uh, cycling tours that he conducted and uh, he was avid traveler means it was very difficult to find him in the department because he might be coming from one trip and then planning for next trip if it has also happened that from station he has moved to some other trip he applied for leave while uh, on one leave he applied for the next leave and uh, <clears throat> so so even uh, my batchmates who were his btp students they have sent messages uh, saying that uh, amita was not just a btp guide but he was a mentor friend and much more than that so all of them are uh, remembering him they are feeling this loss so <clears throat> anyone okay. yeah please no, no it's no as has been very rightly pointed out uh, really a versatile person amazing person and i think he has touched whoever he has come across i had the good fortune of being part of his uh, external examiner probably but more important i uh, visited i went to his house and also not just that Uh, bricks he was involved in build robots and create science so that was part of the department at that time when i was interacting he, he was, and the way in which he came up with new idea was amazing and also of course his translations and poetry he also gave me that unsevered tongue that he had written so i i really cherish that and incidentally many uh, even some uh, important poems like uh, banalatas and his translation is referred to i find in the wikipedia so i was very impressed by that and this shows that whatever he did he did well so i think that's a gift i'm very blessed to have uh, uh, come in touch with him and i must commend also the family and the friends who took care this is a tragedy and i hope such accidents will happen less in the coming years so i wish all the best to the family to be able to bear this loss actually amitabh's web page was a big collection of all the excerpt he has written about the books unfortunately few years back we got some uh, legal notice that he had copied some paragraph from some poem and stanzas from some poem and so they wanted us to shut it down at that time i was head of computer center it was after amitabh met with the accident so we had no other choice but to kind of uh, uh, archive his web page and remove it from uh, online but i think uh, i will try to see if we can at least put it uh, on our internal uh, site uh, which is not accessible outside so we have we are able to recover it because it it was not deleted but just uh, removed uh, from public uh, viewership so uh, i will get that done uh, because again it's a huge collection of summary of very uh, versatile or very much, very large collection of books uh, poems and even comics means he was uh, he had all kind of uh, books in his collection his whole ho house every wall was probably a book uh, rack okay. so i think if uh, uh, no one then we can please stand for uh, one minute of silence
ओम शांति 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 We have created an in memoriam page on IIT Kanpur website to uh, for others to share their uh, anecdotes.